<laughs> Hunter and Chris, Lost Socket Garage. Hope everyone's having a wunderbar day. Today we're going to be talking about our 67 coupe. What hey. time is it? Hammer time! For many, the 60s and 70s is viewed as the pinnacle in American automotive production, giving us some of the most iconic cars in history. The 80s, not so much. What the 80s did give us is two guys with a passion for bringing these classics back to life. Their goal is to educate, motivate, and most importantly, make the mistakes so you don't have to. <laughs> Mother, welcome to Lost Socket Garage. Her name is Hammer. Uh, she is a beloved piece of family history and treasure for one of our customers. Uh, her mother purchased the car new. Brand new. Brand, brand spanking new. Um, and she really wanted to keep a lot of the historicalness, the stockness to the car. Uh, but the car came to us, was not running, old wheels and tires. Needed a bunch of stuff. So we're going to take you through a little bit of a tour as to what uh, this old girl looks like and uh, what we've done to her so far. Um, this is our Instagram slash might go on YouTube slash might go on Facebook vlog. It's not called a vlog. V log. Start date. Or <laughs> shop date. <laughs> shop date. V log. One seven seven three. <laughs> Jake Warren doesn't know how to say vlog. <laughs> That's for you, boo. All right, so 67 Coupe, as we talked about, she's uh, baby blue. And uh, when the customer came to us, she said, uh, you know, I'm kind of going back and forth on, on colors. Uh, what colors should I paint her? And we looked at it and we said, you know, this is a, a, an Oregon or a California car. It's got real tasteful rust. Nothing structural uh, is, is really wrong with it as far as rust is concerned. So, hey, let's just patina this bad boy. You know, let's throw a, a quality clear coat over it, preserve the way it is now, and, uh, you know, keep the character. And she was she was pumped. So, let's uh, take a tour of the interior of the car, which is a, a lot of the work that we've done so far. Let me, uh, let me pick you up. Hello. Oh, it's so bright. I need to flip the camera. Okay. I'm from Lost Socket Garage, it's Saturday night! <laughs> it's Friday afternoon. Be on Saturday Night Live? Yeah, that would be kind of fun, wouldn't it? Probably not. Oh. Kanye was on there. I don't want to be on there. Well, you don't have to be on when he's on. Tasteful rust, ladies and gentlemen. I love this car. So we threw some uh, Scott Drake wheels on it. There was Scott Drake, correct? Legendary wheels. Legendary. Scott Drake legendary wheels on this bad boy. <laughs> we actually uh, spent a little bit of extra for the Mustang uh, center caps, which really pull the whole thing together i wish you guys could have seen it you know maybe we'll see if we can throw in a picture of it how it started uh originally um but there was just a and you'll see it once we get into the interior this car had uh just some some west coast rust on it um it also had some west coast salt on it uh there was snow out in the barn that this was kept in and I, it had to have been kept on a farm because we dug so much hay out of the trunk so let's take a look at the interior this is completely redone except for the rear uh quarter panels in here this is all what did we decide the name of the upholstery was i think it's direct industries direct industries or something like that brand new upholstery brand new foam uh and this is stock replacement stuff guys so stock colors uh, we went with these awesome brand new seat belts uh, and had a little Mustang on them. So that's a little bit, I mean, it looks stock, uh, but that didn't come straight from the factory. Uh, we've done several things when it comes to, let's take a look. I'm only in here. It's so comfortable. Oh God, this car is smaller than me. Uh, so talking about the interior. So we actually did a brand new carpet kit. So this is all brand new carpet. You're going to notice the, don't break anything. Try not to. New kick panel speakers. Yeah. Super, super dig these. Um, now, the kick panel speakers, do you remember which ones those were? 
Probably Scott Drake. I mean, you can I, get I think they were Scott Drake. I mean, a lot of people make these kick panels with yeah. speakers in them, but these came with uh, Pioneer uh, speakers in them. They did come in black, so what we did is we got some factory matching uh, paint and threw it over, and they turned out really, really well. This is a stock center console with a stock um, replacement shifter as well as a shifter slide. Well, you'll notice some of the things on this car, uh, you know, you'll you'll see that it's kind of um, pocked. There's like pock marks. There's a little bit of salt on it. This stuff just doesn't come out, but this is what, uh, you know, the owner kind of wanted to preserve is, you know, this car has kind of been through some hell uh, and she wants to keep her scars, I okay. guess you could say. So a headliner was actually really, really good condition. We did a new dash pad on this. Again, these are OEM replacements. Uh, stock bezel. This car has a brand new wiring harness though that we need to touch up here and there. Wiring harness by American Auto Wire which changes it over to the brand new fuses. Um, as well as gives you options. I mean if you're to run any type of setup in your car American Auto Wire has a really really good kit to where you can run fuel injection, you can run pretty much any mo motor you digital can run gauges digital, digital gauges. speedos yeah I just, mean, just a ton of different stuff everything uh, is already wired into the harness whether you use it or not and so the cool thing about uh, replacing the wiring harness is the fact that um you don't have to worry about chasing down old electrical mm -hmm. issues uh so the radio is a little bit of a sneaky radio because it is aftermarket. Now this is uh, by a company called Custom Auto Auto Sound, um, Custom Audio Sound, Custom I don't remember Custom Audio <laughs> Sound. I think we have great memories. So good, <laughs> so good. So uh, the stereo is actually really cool because it's a direct OEM replacement. However, it is all digital and Bluetooth and Bluetooth. So if we turn it on, do we have the battery connected? Yeah, lights on. Ah, there, there we go. So it looks like an old radio until you turn it on. The country. He, uh... Hush. Goodbye. <laughs> so uh, all digital comes with a uh, uh, Bluetooth connection. Also comes with a uh, USB connection as well. Um, it's got a little microphone that we put up here for right now. Uh, so you can have all the modern conveniences, run music off your phone, uh, phone calls, etc., but this radio looks exactly like the stock unit um, that was in here to begin with. So new carpet, new dash pad, uh, stock things in here are door cards. Uh, we've thrown all new seals in here. Um, talk about the, let's see if we can get you a good picture here. This uh, rear package tray was actually custom made by our neighbors. Um, Really cool little unit. I just have some basic uh, Pioneer 6x9s in here right now. Something that's going to uh, run just fine off of the head unit that we have in here. But this is a nice little custom piece that, again, we painted to match using uh, Ford factory colors. Um, back seat looks great with these brand new um, seat belts. Under the hood, stock 289. Stock through and through. Yeah, I think it's a 302 actually, but same thing. Just slightly sh longer stroke, but everything's the same. Sock motor. Uh, so we're just kind of getting getting that running again. Uh, brand new steering wheel as well because the old one was super cracked. So, you know, there's a fine line you walk when, you, when you're when you trying to keep kind of like the historical value of the car intact. Um, but, you know, we were able to throw some brand new stuff in this and, and keep it pretty stock looking. Uh, Chris, let's talk about, let's talk about paint. Well, so she wants to keep the rust like this. Um, it's got a lot of history with her family. She's got a couple things that she put into this car, so she didn't want us to pull anything out. She wanted us to keep it just the way it is. So that's what we're doing. So what we've done is we've cleaned off and there was so much salt and it actually, I feel like it preserved the paint because it doesn't look that faded at all it kind of did to give you guys an idea the majority of the car kind of looked like that right here it was like cloudy and um chris is running off i think he's going to get a door right now but it was cloudy there was this you know there, there was just a ton of salt wherever this car was was stored at so 
once we started scrubbing the salt off, this car just took on a, a, a whole new a whole new color. It really kind of came back to life. And with this uh, vintage rust look, oh, here we go. This is what it looked like before. Looked a little whitish, a little bluish. A little bluish to that. Yeah. Shiny, not shiny, this white. Oh, that's a horrible sign. Um, white film, so we were able to get the vast majority of that off. And honestly, the stock color was pretty well preserved. Like Chris said, it, uh, it's almost like the, the salt encased it. So, Chris, we're doing a patina job on this bad boy. Gotta All right, bud. Got to put this somewhere it's not going to slide. Okay, okay. The camera is still on you. So everything that you're doing right now, people are seeing. Okay, so. Take a breath, Junior. What do you do when you uh, want to preserve this? So. What we're actually going to do, after we scuff it up, give it a little rough, rough feel to it. We're actually putting on this. I think it's called Stickums, is what it's called. It's an adhesion promoter, so we spray that on it first, and then we go on with our clear coat. Talk about scuffing. So, you can use different scuff pads. Um, we're using green here just to get any imperfections and impurities out of the paint, the old clear coat, anything like that. And then we'll prep it, we'll clean it with some degreaser, wax remover, all that stuff so we know all the grime and everything's out of it. And it won't fish eye or anything like that because that won't look good. So we go over the whole car, wipe it down a few times just to make sure everything's off it. Tape everything up that we don't want to spray. And we just go to town. You guys want to see a really cool part of this car? Toe hitch. <laughs> yeah, it's so cool. <laughs> Love that thing. And we're leaving it as is. We that's are. that's staying rusted. Love it. Everybody looks at that toe hitch like, oh, oh. oh we did new exhaust? We did. As well. We just kept uh, what two inch. Two inch. Um, pretty much all the way back. We couldn't really go wider than two inch on this just due to the fact that the toe hitch actually does come out and wrap around the exhaust. So there was very little room we had to play with, but she has some Nice new Magnaflows, Flowmasters, Flow sorry, <laughs> Four, what, 40 series? 40 series Delta Flow, same um, thing that was on Sway, so it'll sound pretty similar. It's going to sound real good, 2 inch exhaust, it's fine for this, uh, this small block Ford. Uh, to scuff this, again we use the Scotch-Brite green pad, we use a uh, adhesion promoter. Can we talk about the clear coat a little bit? So the clear coat, we use a high solid 2 to 1 ratio, so it goes on thicker than the typical four to one. It, it covers faster, you don't have to put as many coats on, and it builds really well. And we've painted the interior um, stuff and under the hood for Mabel using it, and it actually is an awesome clear. This is dusty. Real dusty. Real dusty. But yeah, as you can see, that's just like glass. <laughs> Love this clear coat. It's going to look great in patina. Um, this thing's going to come together. We'll keep you guys updated as to, to how it looks once uh, once we're all done. But for now, I guess we're we're going to get to oh, prepping oh. and painting. Yeah. And get uh, this thing per clear today, so it can sit over the weekend and get hard, and then we can cut and buff it. You're such a dork. <laughs> I didn't say anything, dude. I have no idea what you're talking about. So I'll clear coat it today. It'll bake over the weekend, cure, um, and uh, hopefully preserve a lot of this just beautiful paint. This is some of like the best non-structural rust I've seen. I, I don't I don't know how to say best rust, but like it's uh, just surface. And uh, with a clear coat, we're going to be able to save the actual hush out there. <laughs> We're going to be able to save uh, save the actual condition of the car and the structure of the car, but maintain kind of a look where you're going to be able to roll up to a car show and there's some people are going to be like, yeah, that's that's been through hell. That is awesome looking. So we're we're pumped for Hammer. Oh, that sucks. Damn, that's what low life gets you, bud. <laughs> It actually drives really nice. Uh, three speed is interesting, but you know, all stock. 
speedometer might be a little bit off, but. <laughs> so after this test drive, what we're gonna do is we're going to go back to the shop, clean her up a little bit, and then uh, take a look at how the paint turned out. So I'm just gonna keep driving this beautiful, miraculous car and enjoy the ride. So I guess the big question is, how did the clear coat turn out? Well, let's take a look. Look at that. Clear coat over top of the rust. Got a beautiful patina. Save this as a time capsule. Look at this, check out this hood. Doesn't that look nice? Nice and shiny. She runs great. She's all shined up. Bam. So that is our 67 build hammer. I'm super excited about it. I think it looks beautiful with the clear coat really encapsulated the time and the, 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 uh, the period, all the rust. So it's safe from further rusting, but it locks in that, that, uh, that beautiful 67. So our client's about to come pick her up. And I'm sure she's going to be pretty pumped about it. Uh, you'll notice I'm missing a person because Chris came back from our little test drive and he caught the vid. So he is out today, but I'm sure he's happy that you guys all followed along with us. Speaking of following along, click subscribe. Uh, go on Instagram. We're on Instagram. We're on Facebook. Um, check us out. If you have questions about conversions or if you want your Mustang restored, let us know. Shoot us a message. Uh, until next time, be happy, do what you love, don't be a dick, as always, keep on driving.